it's an invisible killer. It affects us from our first breath to our last. We're creating a problem, a ticking time bomb in terms of the health impact that this will have. We have a moral obligation to do everything that we can to not harm people with our activities. It can affect all of us, everywhere, so it's absolutely essential that we all act on air pollution now. If we don't recognise the issue and deal with it, people's quality of life will be reduced and continue to get worse. There's an emergency around the quality of air that we're breathing in. We want to avoid those illnesses, those deaths, which are amplified due to poor air quality. Air pollution kills 7 million people globally each year, so that's more than things like malaria, HIV, AIDS, obesity combined. Almost every hospital in the UK is in an area in breach of World Health Organization limits for air pollution, which is crazy. Poor air quality is fueling health inequalities, so the people least responsible for the pollution tend to be the worst off. Air pollution affects almost every single organ in the body. It's silent, people don't see it, so people don't understand the damage that it's doing. As a parent, I care passionately about air pollution. Air pollution can affect a baby from inside the womb, and of course, when the baby's breathing those first breaths, it's absolutely crucial. A child deserves to breathe clean air to stand the best chance of a healthy life. This is important to our patients and communities, but it's also important to our staff. The NHS can't do this alone, but we want to lead in this space because we know the benefits it's going to have to our patients. We see ourselves as a different kind of pharmaceutical partner, so we try and look for the opportunities where we can have the biggest impact. Our insights have led us to Newcastle. I mean, they were the first NHS trust to call a climate emergency. We've established a pioneering partnership with Global Action Plan, Boehringer Ingelheim and ourselves and Newcastle Hospitals to tackle air pollution at our systems level. We've developed a framework that informs ICS leaders on how to take direct action. It's never been easier for an ICS leader to tackle air pollution. Our ambition is to support every ICS to become a clean air champion. Clean air is a fundamental right for life and it's really exciting to be able to take the steps on that journey and hopefully inspire other systems that they can use the framework and make improvements in their areas as well.